Hello guys, welcome back to Ninjago News TV. We actually have super exciting news, as the first ever footage of Ninjago Season 9 has recently been released yesterday in a Japan trailer. So I'm going to be breaking down this trailer, and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on what I think this trailer could be. So in this first scene, in this first scene we have some kind of Assault vehicle or something it looks like a Dragon Keeper's vehicle. And then here we have Garmadon. There's some. There's a Sons of Garmadon flag right next to him. If you look closely. Then cities being with smoke rising out of it. Garmadon taking over. All kinds of Sons of Garmadon flags. If you look around. Then we have Lloyd here, who's still whose eyes are still black. And so he's training with Samurai X that looked like Samurai X's mech. Then Nia, he's also training with Nia. And looks like looks like Nia is helping him train. And then anyway, this scene we have Dareth, and this is actually one of the most exciting scenes in the entire trailer. Yeah, the elemental masters are all back actually, including Skylar, who even looks who looks a little bit different. Somebody pointed out to me that her face and Nia's face practically look the same. So I'm hoping that it turns out a little different. But Skylar definitely looks older. And it's really fun to see all the Elemental Masters back. Because all of them more or less look the same. And it's also hilarious to see Tox and Pixel right next to each other. So now anyway we go back to the Onin Dragon Realm. And there are all these Dragon Keepers. And we get our first look at them actually animate. They look really nice, and it's nice to know there are actually some female dragon keepers too. And it looks like the three ninja are cornered right here. And then this actually is big news. So we know now that Wu won't be aging directly from a toddler to a teen. There will be a child stage. And then actually I wanted to share another theory. I think season 9 is actually going to be a cold season. With the relationship between Cole and Wu being emphasized, as you can see here, Cole is pretty much on his own. So I'm, I'm really hoping, and I also think there's a lot of evidence to prove that this could be a Cole season. So this might be the Stormbringer dragon. I've seen some comparisons between this one and the actual set, and it looks a lot like the Stormbringer dragon. So this is Cole uh, walking through Wu, walking with Wu through some fields. Looks pretty barren, but anyway. And then this is also something I wanted to mention. This looks like a, some kind of, you can see Cole and Wu at the bottom. It looks like that same Oni cave in the Oni temple in season 8. I'm curious to see where this will lead to. This looks like the firstborn dragon. I'm not entirely sure because it also looks kind of evil too. But at the same time, the colors look like the, it could be the firstborn dragon. And then this is our very first look at Iron Baron. He looks really cool. It's really nice to see him animated and I'm looking forward to seeing him. And then, of course, his entire army of dragon hunters. You can see heavy metal right next to him. So this is also a scene I wanted to mention. This looks like the dragon pit and the ninja have been captured, this is speculation, and thrown into a pit to battle with this dragon. I Another theory is that they might team up with the dragon to somehow get out of there. But I wanted to mention the dragon animation looks beautiful. It looks really detailed. And it looks awesome. Once again, interesting to note, Cole is actually not in that scene. Anyway, in this one we have Iron Baron again, who's hatched on, latched on to a vehicle. And some of their vehicles. Anyway, now we're back in Ninjago, and here's Garmadon again, probably battling and stuff. This is Lloyd, there's not much context here, but anyway, we'll just have to see. And that's where the trailer ends. So this was really exciting news for me and the entire community, pretty much. And I'm so excited to see where this will lead to. It's fun to share my theories with you, and I'm going to be doing more Season 9 theory videos. 
since this footage will brings up a lot of new questions. So anyway, guys. Oh, also, one last thing I wanted to note is the animation does look slightly different. In the last three seasons, we've seen, like, three different kind of animation styles. Season 7 looked a lot more Lego-ish, and I loved Season 8. This one looks more smooth, but also kind of Lego-ish, I guess. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Share with anyone, everyone you know. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.